All right, so we're back. We are moving through the Chaos Shrine, and we have killed two of the bosses. And it's time to kill a few more, huh? Kind of used up Vivi's magic. Should probably use an ether to restore something of that. Using the healing staff, which I didn't realize you could use in combat to top up my character's health pool. Seems to work pretty good. Gives Yuna something to do. <laughs> Most of these enemies aren't doing enough damage to really... I wish I'd realized I could do this at the beginning of the dungeon. Or, you know, earlier on in the game. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to cut out the battles. For a bit. Ah, can't read these. This is a way to go. <laughs> hey, it's a boss. And here we go. What am I fighting? Cthulhu! Okay, let's, uh... It's a water monster, so I guess... Lightning... Lightning... Damage? Oh shit, it's casting thunder damage. <laughs> I still did some decent damage to the thing, though. So maybe, uh, hit him with some more of that shit. Well, you just gonna spam that? <laughs> Alright, let's. Oh, fuck. Taking Phoebe out. He's doing the most damage. I mean, it's smart to attack him. Enough of that shit. <laughs> Free turn. Not really. I used up a MP slot. And you're dead. So I imagine there's four of these things. So much dungeon that you're not supposed to go down. I guess the original game didn't have the map, so you didn't know which way you had to go. <laughs> If you didn't know which way to go, you would be wandering around a lot more like I was doing earlier. <laughs> oh, Tiamat! Ah, oh, fuck, I don't know what element this thing is supposed to be. So let's just... It's casting thunder spells. Um... Let's see, let's hit it with a thing or two. Oh, it's multi-spelling, huh? And that did some decent damage. Quake damage? Or no, it doesn't. Oh, you fucker poisoning.
You know, it's inconsistent what damage is supposed to do. Like, what is doing good damage and what isn't. It must be like re-rolling its um, defenses or something every round. Alright, just do this thing over again. Enough of that shit, dude. <laughs> so like that, a physical attack just did, did very little damage, even though it should have done more and then Riku's attack came and did a lot of damage so I don't I don't know what's happening here die come on you got to be close to death right Let's die! Got an extra attack in there and he still survived it. <laughs> oh shit. Oh, I thought Yuna was about to go down. <laughs> Come on, just die. Five HP damage, because you can't do any magic anymore. You're out of MP. Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, fuck. Alright, let's gotta get Riku back. Uh, where's my... Phoenix down. I gotta put a little more emphasis in the healing department. So you do this. And you... Healing Helm. You use Healing Helm. No! Don't! Fuck you. I'm still gonna have to use that same strategy. Because it's possible that they're just gonna... It's just gonna do the same thing over and over again. And just keep taking my characters out. So I gotta get this damage off quick. Hopefully I can outlast it. And I cannot outlast it. Ah, oh, shit. So one of you, one of you, um, heal Phoenix down, and the other, no, I can't do that. Damn it, you cast in the wrong order. Try this again. Well, at least he got that off before Tiamat attacked. And here we go again. Can you revives and restores full HP? Battle's a lot tougher than I was expecting.
Where the hell was it? And if that's 73 HP from death, you motherfucker. the exit. Oh, there's a door in the middle of the room. Alright, uh, what do I got? Alright, this might be the final push. This guy looks like a final boss to me, doesn't he? All right, let's oh, let's do a quick save. And what do I have that I can get prepped for this for? I'm not, that's the best I'm gonna get, isn't it? All right, let's do this thing. Freaking. Garland? <laughs> what? <laughs> okay. <laughs> what? Okay. <laughs> that doesn't... <laughs> the logic of this isn't making a lot of sense to me. So he's the guy that we killed at the beginning of the game. Okay, I get it. So the first boss is the final boss. Okay, a little weird, but, you know, let's roll with it. <laughs> but he was saved by the four fiends in the future and then sent back in time so that he could send the four fiends into the future so they could save his life and send them back in time but why <laughs> why I don't I don't know why <laughs> Whatever, let's just fucking nuke this guy and <laughs> let's nuke this guy and get it over with. So I'm going to do physical attacks. Cloud and Riku, and then magic attacks with Vivi and Yuna is going to primarily be my healer. Although Vivi or Riku is maybe not going to be as good of a physical attacker. So I'm going to cycle back and forth between doing a little bit of healing with Riku using the helm. The healing helm. Just to keep the health topped off a little bit. Meanwhile, everyone else does their role. Let's do that again. Dude, enough of those spells. You're fucking killing me. Ah, oh, god damn it. 
All these look damaging in them. They are. Fuck. This healing helm shit's not doing enough. Alright, you do that. You do a proper heal. And you keep doing what you're doing. 77. Fuck. Blizzard. Ah. Son of a bitch. A lot of good that did. Everyone else is gone. <laughs> Alright. Full life. You do what you're doing. And he hasted himself. Fantastic. This is, he wasn't fast enough as it was. At least he wasted a turn trying that. You... Try Ether. You, everyone is topped off on health, but I do need Protect recast. Can't haste again, can I? Fuck with that shit. So much damage. Eh, not terrible damage, I guess. But not good damage. Wasted a turn. Fantastic. I love it. Ooh, that was good damage, wasn't it? We have he uh, Protect up. Forget. Hmm. We gotta be pretty close to the end. You can't have a lot of life left. Not in this game, at least. Only three flares left. Fuck, dude. <laughs> Just keeps throwing those powerful spells. Too bad there's no reflect spell in this game. At least not that I'm aware of. Would make this fight so much easier. There we go again. 802 damage. What? Spam, dude. Spam. Nobody likes spam. Because he's got haste cast on him. And you're out of flares. Hmm. Fuck, that was a lot of damage. <laughs> he was the one I was hoping there. Riku was the one I was hoping to heal with that move. So much damage. Even with Protect Up. Against a warrior? Just... 
right, these old games were difficult. He's just a damage sponge, too, just taking hit after hit after hit. Like, what, what do you... What do you want, man? Come on. Fuck, took VV out. I needed VV. Even though Cloud just did more damage than Vivi's capable of, I need that. I need that um, extra damage boost that he does with Flare. Thousand thirty. Fuck. You just do that every time. This fight should be over by now. I I assume. <laughs> Uh... 780. So much. Maybe it's dead. It's, it's just wiping my party one move at a time. So maybe it's... Maybe the fight's almost over and this is sort of like an invisible second phase where it just... Boosts its attack power like crazy. See, look, yeah, it just took Cloud out in one hit. Like, if he had been full HP, it wouldn't have happened, but still, it did. He wasn't low HP, it just overwhelmed him. Don't have much magic left for you. Shit. Should have went for the heal. Maybe this is it. Hopefully. Hopefully this is it. No, nope, it's not it. <laughs> At least he took that hit like a champ. Almost, almost a thousand HP was needed to absorb it there, huh? Oh, what do we got? We got one more, right? We got one more. One more elixir. And Vivi's gonna have to take it. Because Vivi can't cast Flare. Let's try Fire. Fraga. Uh, maybe somebody will last more than one hit now. <laughs> Not if you're gonna use Flare, though. That shit's brutal. Hopefully this fires off before Chaos gets to do something. Missed. Oh, he wasted a turn. Fantastic. <laughs> as pathetic as it sounds, maybe I needed that. Oh, I got him. Awesome. He's dead. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Cheers. No? Oh, this was an endless struggle? How many times did this happen?
So is there some deeper meaning to this nonsense? <laughs> Why are you telling me this now after I won? gonna tell me what <laughs> ah, <laughs> no one can say all right we just don't know so it was just sort of like a loop of causality that was causing all of this But something about this last time cycle, the four heroes got the crystal somehow and then went and did all the stuff then killed Garland Chaos in two grand, 2,000 years ago. Breaking the chain and door meant that it would never existed. So does that mean the four fiends... So I guess it meant that they stopped Garland from sending the Four Fiends into the future, so that when he is killed in the present, in the future... Oh fuck, it's a confusing way to word it. But when he's killed in the beginning of the game, there's nobody to save him. So that just ends. God, this is a lot of words for not saying a lot. Oh, it keeps going. Fuck. I'm um, one warrior. There was four of us. <laughs> or are you speaking to me, the player? Is that over? I don't want to talk until I see the credits. Don't want to talk. Oh, come on. See the credits, credits, credits. Alright, I'll take that as the credits. So here's the... This was the first Final... It's a re-release of it. A sort of a remake of the original Final Fantasy. But it definitely seems as though the original like vision behind it was just intact. It was just a sort of slightly modernized look. The auto battle system. And the fact that it doesn't target dead enemies... Yeah, that's kind of frustrating. And the uh, redesigned graphics. Uh, but it seems like it very much feels like the original game. So it does make me sort of sit here and think of like, 
Wow, that felt really primitive. I mean, of course it was primitive. This was a very early JRPG. Something out of the 80s. And I was not... I was too young to play this kind of thing at the time. Uh, when did this game get released? 1980... Let me... Let me look this up. Final Fantasy 1. Nineteen eighty seven. Damn, I was very young. <laughs> very young. So I definitely wouldn't have been able to get into this game. And you could definitely see that there is a major evolution in not just like the gameplay mechanics and all that kind of stuff, but like the complexity of the story. There because there really wasn't much of a story here. There was just little snippets of very thin story, just not so much actual story as more of it was just an explanation for the setting. Our characters, our four characters, our warriors of light are not really characters, they're just kind of silent avatars for the player. People that you play as as you're running through. And that was pretty common back then, I mean, how many people stopped and wondered what the motivation of Mario was as he jumped on Goombas and turtle shells? He just uh, got to save the princess. Boom! That's my job. In fact, that's probably unless he read the manual, he probably didn't even know that. Or run to the end of the castle. Whatever. So as these games went on, the importance of the story became more and more pushed to the forefront. So I can't really judge it too harshly for this first game being so thin in terms of story. They had some interesting sort of like um, Skynet kind of thing going on with it where Garland was in the present and he was he kidnapped the princess but was killed by the Warriors of Light but he was saved by the four fiends who sent him back in time who um, he was then in the past in order to send the fiends into the future and apparently by killing Garland in the past we stopped the fiends from even being born and something like that but yeah it's it doesn't make any sense really but it doesn't really need to early video game or early JRPG it just doesn't need just didn't need that much back then I am interested to see what the later because I didn't play any of them. I never played through any substantial amount, any of the uh, NES or Famicom Final Fantasy games. The first Final Fantasy game I played was actually Mystic Quest, I come to realize, and that was unfortunate. Then 6, then 7, and then 8, 9, whatever, from there. So the earlier games in the series I don't have experience with. Four I played a little bit of, but that was an SNES game. I think it was an SNES game. But Final Fantasies 1, 2, and 3, really no experience with. I mean, one I played for like 10 minutes. Didn't really progress with it. But I'd like to see where 2 and 3 go, because I'm sure a big limitation on this game was the fact that it was meant to run on an NES. Something that doesn't have a lot of memory. Something that can't store a lot of dialogue and store a lot of environments and all that kind of stuff. So, what did they do with that limited ability, that limited technology to potentially progress this? Was uh, there a deeper story in Final Fantasy 2 or 3? I know there was in 4. Oh, not terribly deep. It was deeper than what we saw here. So I would I'd very much like to go through these games one by one and just see that progression. Wow, look at this. I have the individual um, instrument players in the credits. There's a lot of credits for such a... Uh, of course, they, they did all of the remasters, remakes, whatever you want to call this. I'd say this is definitely more of a remake because they... I doubt we're using the code of the original game at all in this. <laughs> or assets. No assets, no code, just a sort of design document, which, you know, how much 
wh where is the line between a remaster and a remake? I don't know. I've tried answering that before. I can't answer it. And I do weirdly feel the need to talk all the way through the credits. Because, <laughs> you know, what else am I going to do? So let's say Final Fantasy 2 and 3, just by the developers getting a little bit more experience on how to work with the console, and getting a little bit more experience in like how to write a story, and what they can, what kind of story they can jam into them NES cartridges, it became a little bit more, a little bit more involved. Some, I guess maybe you could say that there was a deepening of the storyline in the games progressing, not just through technological advancement and through developer experience and all that, but through a kind of an expectation that the fans of the original game are fans all the way through. So when you have Final Fantasy VI, for example, the people who played the original game when they're like 10 are going to say be 15, 16, something like that when uh, Final Fantasy VI comes out. So they're older, they have higher expectations for the quality of the story, and so something was made for them. And obviously there's only so far you could take that with how much more mature your, your players are going to be. But maybe that might also, that might be an explanation for also why they became more developed. Sort of like um, the Lord of the Rings. So when Tolkien wrote The Hobbit, it was back in the 1930s, I think it was. And it was, a, it was definitely a children's book. If you read that, it doesn't read like a modern children, modern children's book, but it does feel like a children's story. The plot was fairly simple. It was broken up into a number of small um, sub stories as as um, Bilbo was adventuring, and I guess so. It was it was easier to read it in smaller chunks because children don't have the kind of patience to sit through a long novel. But then the Lord of the Rings comes out what thirty years later. And when Tolkien wrote that, he wrote it for the same people. The people who were children when they read The Hobbit, and now adults when they're going to read Lord of the Rings. So he took that same world, and same characters in some regards, and made them more adult. Now, the video games that we're looking at here, the Final Fantasy series, up until the year 2001 or so, 2001 or 2002, whatever it was, they were just cranking these fucking games out. So, I, this is 1987, so let's say Final Fantasy X came out in 2000, uh, 2001, I, I'm guessing, I'm not quite sure about that. So that's about 14 years to produce 10, uh, to produce 9 sequels. So that's one every year and a half or so. Between one every year to two years. So you could have people growing up with this series. I didn't, unfortunately. I was... Oh, shit, I don't know how old I was when I played Mystic Quest, but I was definitely a teenager when I played Final Fantasy VII. And I guess I maybe I would have been in... Fuck, I don't, I don't know. I'm not good at years. <laughs> Actually, no, I wasn't a teenager. I wasn't even... A, I was not a teenager when Final Fantasy VII came out. I was 12. Shit. I'm younger than I thought I was. <laughs> okay, anyway. My point was, I was a little bit older. I wasn't like... I wasn't like six when I played the first game. Sort of like how... People who... Sort of like Star Wars. You have fans of Star Wars who... And those movies, especially like the, the first three movies, were kind of movies made for like kids aged 10 to 15 or something like that. Adults liked them too, but it really wasn't made for them. And they tend to just like it on account of it being something that they loved from their childhood. And that strong nostalgic pull is what keeps them coming back to it. Even if it really isn't something that they should like as an adult. How do they get on this? <laughs> the credits are over. I could stop talking any time now. Uh, 
How does that, how does what I was talking about relate back to Final Fantasy? I don't even freaking know. Well, and anyway, okay, so I started, I, I got it now. Since I started playing the Final Fantasy games when I was like 12, I'm not going to count Mystic Quest because that wasn't really a Final Fantasy game. That was just some baby's first RPG. Final Fantasy VI I played like right before seven. And I didn't even beat the game. I just, I played through it a little bit and then jumped to seven. And then I came back to six later. So I was like 12. So a, perhaps a little bit older than what you would expect the video game audience of that era to be. So maybe it, I don't quite have, I wasn't an adult, that's for damn sure. But I don't have this memory of it being something from my early childhood. I still don't know how this relates to what I was talking about. Well, anyway, fuck it. That was Final Fantasy 1. Perhaps I'll do 2, 3, 4, 5, and uh, I already did 6. Uh, the SNES version of 6. Uh, Final Fantasy 3, they called it. But maybe I'll do 2 through 5. And then I'll take a look at the pixel remaster of 6. But I won't play through the entire game. But I'll up this. maybe I'll do these other games. But, you know, if, if you did like this, I don't know why you would. I've been rambling like an idiot, and there wasn't a lot of story to talk about in this game. But I have, like, something like 30 other games that i played through on this channel over the past 12 years. So feel free to jump in and have a gander at that stuff. I guarantee you at least half of it's better than this. 